Ariana Lewis, a fourth grade student at Bethune Bowman Elementary and the winner of my school's MLK oratorical competition. Just like any other week, we had a lot of great things happen in Orangeburg County School District. We hosted the Waterford organization and school representatives from other states to show just how well students like me are doing in reading, math, and science. Some of my peers also got the chance to brag on the Waterford program during a student panel. There was also a lot of students' talents displayed during school's black history programs. <laughs> Songs, skits, and dances were performed across the district to celebrate Black History Month. Along with Black History Month, Career and Technical Education Month is also celebrated in February. Mr. Hemby, the coordinator for CTE, will fill us in on the awesome things they are doing. Thank you, Ariana. And indeed, February is Career and Technical Education Month, but all year round, we're educating students on CTE by exposing them to different opportunities. Just last month, we had students visit the Michelin Tire Plant in Lexington, South Carolina. There, our students got a wonderful opportunity to visit and, and see and learn about the high school to work program again that they have there. It's an outstanding initiative for those students who are looking for a career right out of high school. And, and great news, one of our students from Edison High School, I think his name is Derek Polite, he placed in the South Carolina Transportation and Business Alliance and Automotive Service Excellence Competition. He won $2,000 in tools and a toolbox. He actually is one of Mr. John Coleman's students, so we're very proud of Mr. Polite. We also want to thank the Carolina Panthers for celebrating Reading Across America last week with us at Holly Hill Elementary. We look forward to seeing our students continually to succeed here in Orangeburg County School District. Thank you, Mr. Hamby. Before I go, I want to say congratulations to all the students, athletes, and OCSD on a well-played season. Well, that's all for this week's episode of Fostering OCSD with Dr. Foster. Have a great week.